What's up, everybody? When we left off, I just saved and I found a door and a bunch of nasty, sticky, gooey, grossy thingies. Shut up! I don't care! Anyway. Ooh, for squeaky. Hmm. Stop it with the... Yeah, anyway. All right, and we're going to screwdriver this door open because that seems like the right idea. Poking the key isn't going to achieve anything. I need to find a way to collect it from under the door once I've pushed it out. What? Okay. Um. Well, oh, here we go. Aha! Booyah! I'm a genius. I win. Get up. Stand up. Fool. There we go. Oh, I gotta use the key. Okay. Okay, well that time it worked. Hello? Whoa! Please don't do that again. What? It's an artificial habitat. Those things look long dead. I think I know how they felt not being able to get out. <laughs> From the debris, I'd say something huge broke into the room not too long ago. There's blood and slime everywhere. Hi. Hello. Open up, damn it. Might be something useful. Come on. No. Nothing. Gay. All right. How about in here? All the cats are damaged. Blah, blah. Ooh, a note. Professor. There. These are the biomedical journals of Dr. J. Peters, MSc, PhD, completed between the dates of 30th of March 1969 and the 1st of January 1972, at the Northwestern Research Station within the Northwestern Iron Mine, with the permission of Delta Mining Coal. Replication of selection at Bledsman. Subject of study, genus for the commonly known as gray rockworm, aimed to investigate the abnormal presence of caddis and blah, blah, blah. Personal notes, upon arrival at the mining facility, I was immediately stunned by the sheer volume of fauna that finds a way of life down here, despite the conditions. In general, however the person you say, me. Ah, finally, some writing paper. Look at me, just using up the pages to scroll down whatever comes to my head. Ha! What is this stuff anyway? Some kind of research paper? No matter, it's all paper just the same. I can finally record what's been happening down here for, I suppose, about a year now. It must be the end of the year 2001 by now. Hmm. I wonder when Christmas was. No matter, too tired right now. A little, little rest for us. Professor, samples collected. The collection this process has been far easier to express. Okay, me. I've been down here for two days now. I was meaning to record events every day, but I was too busy securing the area. I've used some supplies from the old mining company, and blah, blah, blah. To the end, it seems I just said blah, blah, but this is good. These notes might have a way to find, to fight these things. The rock worms that uh, followed me here. I don't know how they knew I was coming, or how they managed to follow me in the dark, but maybe I can work out, work that out now. I've used some of those people. They're afraid of this. It worries me that well, supplies. I must record it so I can keep Professor, observation is creature indeed larger than previously recorded. The juveniles seem to still be growing, far beyond their natural limits. Although the adults have now expired, I will watch with interest to see if the lifespan is of a particular subspecies. The worms appear to have three senses, as would be validated by freezer. Taste, smell, and an extremely sensitive, ten sensitive sense of touch. It's a little redundant. Which allows them to detect vibration in the rocks. Okay, natural preys, insects smaller than the cells, and heaven help those insects because the worm is vicious and efficient killer. He's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Today, I attempted to distract them with a concoction I found lying around, but to no avail. However, it does seem that they detect movements via vibrations, which would explain how they could see them in the dark. Damn! There's almost no way to escape them down here. I'm on their territory now. Life span is three days and counting. I can still hear them outside the wall. As an extra precaution, I've locked myself in the smaller study, connected to the main lab room. If they have to get through that wall, I doubt this door will stop them, but it's rat better than nothing, barely. Conclusions, the subspecies are highly adapted for the minor release service. However, should these condition danger and magnify through the... It's fifth day now, and I swear I've been in this round location. I can't tell whether or not they've breached the wall they built. I'm certain they they've entered whatever area surrounding the room. The future is looking increasingly bleak. I intend to record the events of the past year. I hope that perhaps it would occur as why right now. Good question. I have no answer. All I do know is that rather me. Ah, oh, okay. Cool. That was a lot of reading. Once again, that is like my only. What the hell? Okay. Ooh. What's this? Gross. Alright. Well, let's see. I need some painkillers and. Ew. Involved a great deal of pain. I gotta go in there, don't I? Mmm. Nasty. Alright. I gotta go in there. 
or not. Okay, well, I gotta get out then. Whoa! Um, while you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt in your mouth, mousy morsels, there, there are places you should not go for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just, just like, like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it is dark. Wait, wait, don't tell me. The place that I've been. I just went there. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some, some bad things flowed from, from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. And by the way, should you turn peckish, red is in its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. Gross. Okay, let me guess. That was the room. Shit. I'm gonna save. The compartment. No name still. It is he who opens the gateway to hell. Grin on his face. He is terrible indeed. He watches the men writhe and turn. Still, Father. Oh, I've already read that one. Nah. I already did that. Okay. Well. Great. So, where do I go from here? Red spoke of Kiko, I found the door leading to the insect suit and I found no, as far as I can tell, there's no code written on it. Question mark? And... Whoops. Wrong button. Slide, there's some meat on it? Huh. Yeah, maybe I could just manufacture a way out of here. Or not. Yeah. Positive thinking, dude. Positive thinking. Go fuck yourself. And yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm rearranging that. I don't know why I have a padlock. Probably for those dogs or something. Well, shit. I don't know what to do. Alright. We're just gonna run around and guess. Because I seem to be good at that. Guessing. Also, I probably should have gone in that room next to the ventilation so after that I missed. Because I thought it was a trap. Because everything's a trap! Don't you realize that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everything's a trap. Come on. <sighs> Alright. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Fuck. Diddly doo Enough with the crashing and bashing and scratching and crashing. Black and black and black. Section C, because I don't know where else to go. Ah, stop it with your stupid glitchy lights. I can guess some combinations. What do my notes say? Notes? Uh, wrong notes. Notes? Who's living? Copenhagen Post. Travel in my brain. Where is Rockmore study? No, oh, crap. That doesn't help me at all. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, balls. Back in here. Nothing. Right. So, clearly, I gotta guess a code. Guessing a password will definitely do it. Nope. Assuming it's four digit codes, there's 10,000 possible permutations. I guess it eventually. Yeah, I might, you know. It could happen. Shut up! I'm arguing with myself. Fantastic. Well, balls to you. Alright. Where do I go? Where do I go? Refinery. Of course it is. Crap. Crap! I don't know what to do, guys. This may have been a pointless episode. I'm sorry.
into shaft 13. Was I just there? No, I wasn't just there. That was another one. Should we do what? Nope. This doesn't help me at all. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. I got a closet. Thanks for watching. Click the annotation in the top right to watch the next video. I don't know when I'll be back, so I'll see you whenever. Peace out. <laughs>